Good morning from Badgerland Off-Road. I wanted to discuss this refrigerator. Just give you some key highlights on it and my experience over this time of using it. So I've had this Truma cooler. It's a refrigerator freezer. I call it a cooler. Um, I've had this for a few months now. I have been testing it out. Like I always say, I always test out products before I offer them to my customers because I want to make sure that you are getting a quality item um, and won't have any issues. So, this has been from Wisconsin to uh, Iowa, Colorado, Nebraska, Utah, you name it, it's been there. Um, I just did a week long trip with it, had a week's worth of food for two. Um, it handled great. So this has a plug-in outlet. I have a plug-in here in the back of the Gladiator. It's only full time while the vehicle is on and running, so I don't have it on right now. Uh, it has a nice digital display on it. You can use it as a refrigerator or a freezer, both. It does come with a container inside, the freezer portion, so you can put all your meats or whatever you need frozen in that half keep all your drinks and stuff cool in the other half. It does have a dual zone setting, so you can set the freezer temperature and you can also set the refrigerator temperature. So, with the digital display, it also has a USB for charging your smartphones or whatever you may need while you're out and about or sitting at camp. Um, it does have the removable baskets, like I kind of just mentioned, it has removable baskets for stuff. It has removable freezer basket with a lid on it. It does have a three-stage discharge protection built in, so it protects your vehicle battery from draining while you're using it while the vehicle's not running. It also has Bluetooth app control that you can control it on your phone. It has an LED light inside. It has built-in bottle openers for those of you who like tailgate or what have you. It has it on both sides. Also notice the handles are recessed, so you're not taking up extra space and trying to work around handles. That's a nice option as well. It has a reversible lid. So if this way didn't work for you, you can pop it off, open it up the other way. It just depends on what you're working with and you know your situation. It does cool down to about negative eight degrees, which obviously is a deep freeze. So if you're gonna be out for a while and it's gonna be unplugged or the vehicle's gonna be off, maybe deep freeze your stuff so it doesn't thaw out on you before you need to. It does have a drain plug on the inside, so if you spill something, you can just pull the plug, let it drain, wipe it out, be done. It does come with two power cords. One is a regular like 110 that you plug into a household outlet or like I have here in the Gladiator. It also comes with the cigarette lighter type. So you have AC-DC power, whatever works for your vehicle or your application. Um, this is the, the 69, this is that size 69, so this is a big boy. Um, as you can see, I have a lower rack on my Gladiator, so I can't really open the lid all the way. But I have been able to get gallon jugs in and out of here, my water, not a problem. So, And I have like two or three of these in here right now. So that tells you how much space there is. It's a very large cooler. I also have the cover on it because I just got back from Utah and Colorado and it was like a hundred degrees out there. So just for its own protection from the dust and the heat, you know, I just have this on there so it stays cooler better. Uh, as far as the durability, I mean this thing is, it's, it is heavy, but it's to be expected with something of this size, no matter what brand you're looking into. It is energy saving. Um, so if you have an RV or a, a full-time tiny home, this is great because it's energy saving. It's like a regular appliance, like a home appliance. So, but my experience has been great with it. It has held all my food as I've needed it to. I keep it freezing on the one side that way if I'm gonna be out for a long period of time. It's not gonna cool down on me from opening it so much. It does lose about one degree per hour of it being unplugged, keep that in mind. Uh, so, but other than that, it has been great. Um, it's been bounced around in the back of the Gladiator for the last week, not an issue. So, if you have any questions, drop a comment below 
or if you would like to order one, you can contact me at ordering at badgerlandoffroad.com and I can get you hooked up with one of these. Uh, other than that, highly recommended.